Wednesday, October 27. Nashville was looking to secure its place in the playoffs, hoping to check off a win against the league's lowest ranked team. What should have been an easy victory was turning into a disaster. Nashville was down three to one. But NSC has proven one thing in its short history. These guys don't give up. With sudden resolve, the team scored four straight. And for the second year, and their second only season, the boys in gold punched their ticket to the playoffs. In a season filled with bounce back moments, the game in Cincinnati proved once again that this team has resilience. That resilience starts here, on the most fundamental level of mind and muscle. Strength training and conditioning are stressors that we're intentionally putting on the athlete to create an adaptation. And that adaptation is, can they handle more work capacity on the field so that you know they can be effective later on in the games. But then the other part of that is decreasing their likelihood to get injured. You're never going to fully get rid of injuries. They happen. It's a very chaotic environment. But the stronger you are and the faster you can recover from high stress, the more likely you are to handle more of it and it not break down the body. We use a number of different variables. One of them is our GPS monitoring system. Uh, we use Catapult. Uh, which tracks all the players' movement for trainings and games. They wear these vests underneath their training tops and jerseys for games. We have what we call a GPS unit that goes in the back here, goes right down the spine, so the players don't have to worry about it during a game or a training session. In Europe, pretty much everyone has one of these on. You'll see the little pod kind of sticking off the back part of their spine there. There's different variations of it, but mostly everyone does have some form of it. One thing that I would say we look at the most is a player load, and that takes in different variables on how much they're running, how fast they're running. Everything is categorized and tailored to that individual. In soccer, points are at a premium, so every ounce of strength, every millisecond of speed matters. We like to assess things, we like to test things, we want to make sure that what we are doing is correct and follows the latest science. We're monitoring acceleration, deceleration, high-speed running, player load, a bunch of different variables that we take into account. If we can expose them to those higher percentage runs, those 80-90% of their max speed, then when they're exposed to them in a game, their body is used to that. So that is a way to prevent injury that we use to make sure that we're constantly getting the most out of the players so that they can perform at the best of their ability on game day. Here we go, boys. Jogging out to the cone and back. Traffic cone and back. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Jogging out to the traffic cone and back. Open it up a little, drive that knee across. Going long. It's a precise mix of art and science that targets every inch of the body and every facet of the game. Regiments are carefully tailored to the needs of each player, especially the team's marquee talents. We love to be out there and have the ball in our training sessions, but uh, we all know that we need to be in a great shape, that we need to be fit. Our success in, in keeping injuries low is really a team effort. It's the athlete being bought into what we're, we're trying to promote within the medical and performance department. It's our coaches listening to the technology and collaborating with medical and performance on how best to load the guys and unload the guys and take care of them. You know, they are Ferraris and they have a huge capacity to do great things, but you also got to take care of a, a powerful engine like that and make sure that you don't overdo it. Guys coming back from an injury, the everyday person sees the games, but you don't see what's behind the scenes and how hard they work in the gym, how hard they're working uh, to get back out there. And then once they do, seeing that, it gives us you know, the greatest joy in our, in our profession. 
It's very important for us to be in a great shape, uh, to be fit, to, to be the best version of yourself. Then that's the foundation you build every day to go out and uh, play the best uh, version you can. At the end of the day, it's all about availability. Are they available to go and, and play? And, and most of the guys, um, if you look at our team, we've, we've had good success with that. It's exciting what we've done. It's not good enough, to be honest. We really won't be happy until we're raising up a cup at the end of the year. On the next Dream Together. We have a tremendous vehicle in using this sport, a sport that people around the world are really, really connected to, to leverage that to reach these communities.